What's up? What you doing here? Perfect timing. All right, I wanna show you what I've been doing here for the island. Recently, my neighbor told me that he had bought a house and the city had condemned it. And so it was another situation where we had the opportunity to go and reclaim some wood. You know, we just got the island and we're gonna have a whole lot of work on it. And so I figured, hey, this is perfect. So this will be my explanation on how I reclaim wood. Step one, you gotta find a house. Thankfully, my neighbor clued me into this place that was gonna be torn down. And so I went and checked it out. And it's in a great location, kind of like downtown Ruston area, but the house was really in bad shape. I think it was the right decision to get it torn down, and so that was good for us because we got to pull some wood out. So I walked through the house, and it was in the usual states that you'll find a house you can reclaim wood from. There's usually junk all over the floor, people have just moved out. It's kind of, uh, you know, it was just a house sort of left to rot. But I love color and I love that look of planing paint off of wood. I reclaimed some wood from a friend of mine's house before they tore it down a couple years ago and used it in the shop and I thought that looked great. And so I found some flooring in this house and it was all painted blue. So I thought, perfect, let's, let's go and we'll get this room. Step two, you gotta have the right tools. So most of the time these houses don't have electricity so you gotta bring a battery operated saw. You need a hammer with a good claw to beat the nails out and, uh, and this pry bar thing. The longer it is, the less you have to bend over to use it. That's certainly gonna help with your back. Step three is you gotta be ready to work. And if you're in Louisiana in the middle of the summer, you gotta be ready to sweat. So on in this house, uh, of course there's no air conditioning, so you're in there just sweating away. And this one had some termite damage. I started pulling up the floors and you could immediately see light coming through. And uh, obviously that's a bad sign. Why can't I see the ground from in here? Once you tore this floor up, the subfloor has been ate out by termites. Obviously, you see these? See right here, these are some uh, evidence. This right here, some of this, all this dirt right here. Yeah. That's evidence of some termites that have built uh, mounds in there. But the floors are still usable. The floors are still usable by your uh, by, standards. By my standards. <laughs> see, and look at this nice pile I've already collected. You just can't, you cannot buy that in the store. So when you're reclaiming wood, it's important that you're careful with the wood you're pulling up. Otherwise, it's just gonna splinter and you won't have much usable stuff. In these older houses, the way they used to put tongue and groove down was put a nail in through the top edge of the tongue. So when you're in a room and you don't know which side to start from, you always wanna find the tongue side. The nails go down in one direction and you wanna pull them up from the same direction they came from. This is what I pulled out of this house and I'll show you how I did this. Make a good man fine Not exactly sure what we're gonna do with this pile yet but it's definitely going up in the island and, and so I'm excited to wait and see where it'll go. So on the good days your family comes up and visits you to break up the monotony. When are you going to fix this? Baby? <laughs> the skateboard? <laughs> mm -hmm. You want it? Yeah. I never had a skateboard before. Ryan was born the next day and my dad came up to see the new baby. He ended up injuring himself. You gonna be all right, dude? I don't know. I'm feeling a little faint. I feel faint, Daddy. <laughs> So once you've got the boards up, you take the nails out and then you have to cut the boards to size so they'll fit in the back of your truck for easy transportation. You know, it can be a fun activity. You know, Henry always loves helping and so he and I like to take the nails out. Of course, you gotta be careful, but uh, it's a fun little father-son activity to do with your kid and uh, he always gets a kick out of it. Tiff had to take a shower so Ryan even got in on it this time. One of the things that you have to worry about while you're reclaiming wood is that usually these houses are about to be torn down. So you're working against time. You kind of want to get as much as you can out before the place gets torn down. So that was the story on this place. I kind of ended up having to cut it short 
Didn't get all the wood out that I wanted, but definitely got a nice little pile here to work with. And so, you know, it's on to the next house. And the more you reclaim wood and the more people hear about you doing it, the more opportunities will present themselves for you to get wood out of places. Reclaiming wood can be a lot of effort, but in the end, you've got something very unique that you put your heart and soul into that's unlike anything else. Oh, hey, well, that's the end of the video. We'll see you next time.